Spring break! Yeah, spring break! No wife, no kids, just get it! Oh, wait. Uh, have fun, guys. Have a safe flight. Go f yourself! Love you too! So, you weaseled your way out of another family vacation, huh? I actually wanted to go this year, but I am not allowed back in Florida. <laughs> Oh boy, it involved a lot of rum, a jet ski, and some alligators. I don't want to get into it, but what I do want to get into is a whole week of uninterrupted gaming! Woohoo! What do you got for me? Spray break! Let's go! <laughs> oh yeah, what's up, 360? That's not out, don't wear a name. <laughs> Can I borrow with you guys? Oh great, my old ass alcoholic relative wants to hang out. What is this, Facebook? Burn! <laughs> You're funny. Oh, uh, speaking of burned, what happened to your face? Mm, I fell asleep in the tanning booth. Where are we going, anyway? We're just sitting here gaming all week. Starting with Alone in the Dark. Mmm, I love that game. I fucking love... <sighs> I'm gonna start it up. Oh, that ending still gets me all... How does it feel to be so alone? <laughs> Get yourself together. We are not playing that 2008 trash. This is what gaming looks like now. Whoa! Whoa, is that David Harbour? Oh my god, movie stars aren't video games now? How do you know David Harbour? Stranger Things came out like eight years after you were obsolete. All right, first of all. Ouch. Second of all, I don't know what his stranger thingy looks like, but I love him from the 2001 made for TV epic Revenge of the Whale. Okay, can we just play this game already? I am so excited. Unlike someone's shit version, this one is based on the actual 1993 original. Nice. Did you know that that game is considered the very first 3D horror survival game? I didn't. Did you know that the 2005 movie adaptation starring Christian Slater is widely regarded as one of the worst movies ever made and in fact has a world Guinness World Record for it? Wow, uh, again, I didn't know that. <laughs> Did you know that- the Oh my God. What are you, the kid from Jerry Maguire? I don't know what's scarier, this game or the thought of spending another five minutes with this bitch. <laughs> All right, you know what? You can have fun with your game that has a story that makes sense and has actors that are good at acting, but <laughs> I'm gonna go party. All right, and I'm gonna maybe we'll go find Stella and see if we can get our groove back too, okay? I wonder what Leisure to Larry's doing. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it's me. She's always a good time. Yeah, sure. Speaking of monsters, are you ready to play Alone in the Dark? Or we could switch it up. I mean, are you actually gonna try playing Dragon's Dogma too? Oh, I don't know, Xbox. The first one was really confusing. Capcom streamlined a lot of that stuff, okay? And I'm calling it right now, this is a game of the year contender, all right? And it's honestly like stepping into a Lord of the Rings movie. The monsters look so sick and the battle system is... Okay, keep talking. It all starts when a dragon steals your heart. Oh yeah, you can f dragons in it. Ew, no, you weirdo. Literally steals your heart. Oh, and the character customization is the best I've ever seen. So your main character can be like a sexy wizard, and then your companion pawn can be like a slouchy, overweight, lion-faced oaf. Hi, I'm James. And then your friends can recruit your companions and adventure with them. I don't think that's gonna work. Right, because you don't have any friends. No, no, because I don't think that any of my friends are gonna want to recruit James over there. Uh, no offense. None taken. Honestly, I shouldn't even exist. And uh, by the way, be careful out there because in DD2, when your NPC pawn dies, it's forever. Oh, good to know. You know what, I think I'm just gonna go check out this troll cave over here. No, no, wait, wait, James, you're underleveled, you'll die. Here's hoping. What? Nothing. Rip. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna spend all spring break playing Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah! Dude, this character creation is taking forever. God made the whole goddamn world faster than this. I know, I know, Xbox. I just, ugh, I need to get his face right. Ugh, that stuff doesn't matter. Actually, he's kind of hot. <laughs> Maybe you throw a neck tattoo on him and give me a glass of wine and... No, just fucking play the game! Xbox, the perfect character is just as important as the game itself. Like, does the character have, I don't know, tattoos? Or he's got like these amazing abs and he's like, fuck buff his 
fucking like strong, like this big man that can like take anything and like fucking rip people's heads off. Or, you know, like this guy, you know? He's pretty badass. Is he like a like an archer or, or is he like a mage? Like a fucking wizard? <laughs> or whatever. Ah, uh, you know what? I think he actually looks like the guy who's never gonna make it out of character creation. Oh man, now that you mention it. No. Uh-uh. <sighs> Me do it too. <sighs> Xbox, I'm sorry. I just I spent so much time working on this character creation that I just don't have enough energy to dive into something super epic. But don't worry, okay? I have all of Spring Break. How many times have you told me that you don't have the energy? No energy. I'm too tired. I'm too tired to game. Is there something else going on? I don't know. Do you have I don't know something kind of fun and light? <sighs> You know what? Um, this just popped up on Game Pass. <laughs> so, that was Rich Man 11. There's 11 of those? Yeah. So, you want to play it? Yeah, I do. Uh, but do you think it matters that I didn't play Rich Man 1 through 10? Nah, you'll be fine. Ooh, I can do the character creation. Mother What up, guys? Thank you so much for watching, and make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really does help us out a lot. It really does. And thank you to everybody who supports our content on patreon.com slash recklesscomedy. All that info is down below. If you want to help support us, we will be live streaming an episode from behind the scenes once we hit 350 paid patrons. And a big shout out to our war hero level patrons, City Racing Girl, Patriot King TTV, and Joel Rattan. Yeah. And don't forget, five bucks a month gets you uncensored bloopers. Go check him out, because I f up a lot. He does. <laughs>